Dum, Dum a Dum Briani. Author Gayathri Tirthapara. Illustrator Kabini Amin. Biyash Shah and his sister Sinabi live in Hyderabad with their parents. Basha loves food. What he loves more is to cook food. He helps his Emmy in the kitchen every day. He likes to watch her hands as they chop the brightly colored vegetables, plump red tomatoes, crisp green capsicums, firm orange carrots, fleshy pink onions. MMMM. Basha loves the tempting aromas that swirl around Emmy's kitchen as the dowels, rice, vegetables, meat, and spices change color on the stove. He hopes that Amy will give him a chance to cook a dish on his own someday. One day, Basha and Sanabi come back from school to find Amy asleep with high fever. Baba is not yet back from his office. Amy's mobile rings. Basha sees that Amy's best friend Syra Auntie is calling and answers it quickly. He does not want to wake Amy up. I'm on my way back home from a wedding with lots of friends Syra Auntie explains. She sounds exhausted. We will be passing by your home in about two hours time. Do you think we can have dinner at your place? There are 24 of us and 4 are vegetarian. Basha knows that Amy would love to see them. He and Sinabi are very fond of Syra Auntie too. You are most welcome, Basha says. He feels excited as he hangs up the phone. This is his chance to cook a dish on his own. But will he be able to do it? He feels nervous. He opens the fridge and sees many of his favorite vegetables cauliflower, peas, beans. He can also see a bunch of fresh mint leaves peeking out from under the carrots. Yes. He thinks to himself. I have everything I need for a yummy vegetable dum biryani. Basha has watched Tammy cook vegetable dum biryani many times for their family of four. But he now has to cook for 24 people. That is six times the number of people Amy usually cooks it for. 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 equals 24. Or 4x6 equals 24, that means, thinks Basha to himself, feeling a little nervous, I have to cook the biryani six times. Would he have enough time to do that? Dot. As he starts to lay out six of every vessel he needs for the cooking, Sanabi appears at the kitchen door. What are you up to? She asks, frowning. When Basha explains to her what he is doing, she starts to laugh loudly. Badu. She teases him. You don't need to make the dish six times. You just have to have to make it once, but with six times the quantities of all the ingredients needed. Basha doesn't like to be teased by his smart little sister. Of course he doesn't have to make the biryani six times. He could kick himself for his silly mistake. I knew it all the time, he says quickly. I just wanted to see if you knew it. Of course you did, bye, Sanabi says soothingly, but her eyes twinkle mischievously. So, tell me, how much rice do we need for four people? 1.5 cups. Then you need 1.5 x 6 equals 9 cups of rice for 24 people, Sanabi replies instantly. Basha stares at her. How does Zanabi work out those numbers so quickly in her head? That's right, he says gruffly, measuring out the rice into a big vessel. Now, 
Why don't you tell me how much we need of all the other ingredients too, and I will tell you if you are right. Sure, bye. Says Zanabi, running to get a pencil and paper. She loves it when her brother involves her in something he is doing. As Basha tells her the list of ingredients needed for four people, she calculates the quantities for 24. 15 green beans for four people, calls out Basha. That means 15x6 equals 90 green beans for 24. Says Zanabi. Three fourths cup of curd for four people. That means 3 fourths x6 equals 0.75 x6 equals 4.5 cups of curd for 24, says Zanabi, working it out on her paper quickly. I hope we have that much curd in the fridge. We do, says Basha. Next. Finally, they have measured out all the ingredients. Can you help me with the chopping too? Basha asks, realizing that there are a lot of vegetables to be chopped. Of course, bye Grin Sanabi. Today is her lucky day. Basha first soaks the fine orange strands of saffron in milk and the rice in water. He then joins Sanabi in chopping the vegetables. Then he turns on the stove and starts roasting the spices cinnamon, cloves, green cardamoms, black cardamoms and all the chopped vegetables, in ghee. The familiar pleasant aromas of good food start to fill the house. Basha starts to gain confidence in himself. He can't wait to get to his favorite part now layering and slow cooking the half-cooked rice, spices and vegetables in a handy. As Basha sets up the handy and starts to slow cook it on the tawa, the doorbell rings. Before he and Sanabi can get to the door, Ami has woken up and is greeting the guests with a surprised look on her face. Her surprise turns to worry as she realizes that they're here for dinner, and she hasn't cooked anything. She follows the pleasant smells and reaches the kitchen. Surprise! Shout Basha and Sanabi as they whip the lid off the handy. Ami is stunned. Basha is a great cook, Ami. He has made biryani. I helped him make it, Sanabi says. Basha smiles proudly at Ami, thinking that his little sister is not so bad after all. Ami hugs Basha and Sanabi. Mashala. She smiles. I have two really fine kids. I am so proud of you both. Why don't you join Syra Auntie and the others, Ami? Says Basha. Sanabi and I will serve you all. Sanabi nods eagerly. Maybe Bai will ask her to help him with more things from now on. She can't stop smiling at the thought. This is the best dumb biryani we've ever had. Say Syra Auntie and her friends. I agree 100%. Says Ami, licking her fingers. Basha and Sanabi are all smiles. Cook with Basha and Sanabi. Guess what? Basha and Sanabi's Emmy sweetly agreed to share her dumb biryani recipe with us. Be sure there is an adult around when you try it. Ingredients for a biryani that serves four. Basmati rice one and a half cups, soaked in water hot milk with three strands of saffron, soaking in it two tablespoons water four cups ghee four tablespoons onion one, sliced shahi jeera a half teaspoons bay leaf one cinnamon two inch stick cloves a ginger garlic paste one and a half tablespoons mixed vegetables, cauliflower, beans, carrots, peas, three cups, chopped tomato 2 small chopped green chili 1 
chopped tablespoons equals tablespoon teaspoons equals teaspoon spice powders garam masala one teaspoon healthy powder a half teaspoons dania powder one tablespoon curd three fourths cup mint leaves two tablespoons chopped coriander leaves one tablespoon chopped cashews and raisins five each green cardamom five black cardamom one milk two tablespoons salt one and a half teaspoons start cooking one heat half the ghee in a pan and fry the onions until browny gold keep aside two in the same pan heat the rest of the ghee fry shahi jeera bay leaves cinnamon and cloves in it add ginger garlic paste and fry for two minutes three add the mixed vegetables tomato and green chili and fry for three minutes four add all the spice powders fry well for two minutes five pour the curd and half the salt into the pan and mix well Cover and cook on low flame for about 10 minutes until the vegetables are soft but not mushy. Footnotes to go with recipe 1 A vessel with small holes at the bottom to drain water 2 A deep and wide mouth cooking vessel. 6. Take the pan off the stove and add mint and coriander leaves into it. 7. In a separate pan, boil the water. Add the rest of the salt, black cardamoms and the green cardamoms. 8. Drain the soaked rice, add it to the boiling water, and cook for 8 minutes with the pan uncovered. When the rice is almost cooked, drain it through a colander.9. In a handy whose size is just right to hold the biryani, begin layering. In layer 1, put one third of the cooked vegetable mix from step 5 and one third of the cashews and raisins. In layer 2, put one third of the cooked rice, step 8, topped with one third of the fried onions, step 1, and one third of saffron milk. Keep alternating layers 1 and 2 until you have 6 layers. 10. Cover the handy and place it on a hot tava. Cook for 5 minutes on a medium flame and another 7 minutes on a low flame. 11. Remove the handy from the stove and mix the biryani until the colors of the spices are uniformly distributed. 12. The vegetable dum biryani is now ready to serve. Colander. A vessel with small holes at the bottom to drain water handy. A deep and wide-mouthed cooking vessel. Are you a food math whiz? Can you cook up a delicious biryani for 24 like Basha did? No? Never mind. Maybe you can help him calculate the quantities of various ingredients he needs, like Sinabi did. Go on, try it. 1. If Basha needs one onion for a biryani for four people, how many will he need for a biryani for 24 people? 2. If Basha needs 72 florets of cauliflower for biryani that serves 24, how many florets should he put into a biryani that serves 3? 3. three. If the recipe says to put in 3 fourths cups of curd for a biryani for 6 people, how much curd should we put into a biryani for 48 people? 4. To make biryani for 5 people, you need 4 tablespoons of ghee. If Basha puts in 32 tbsps, how many people is he cooking for? 5. A biryani that serves 8 needs 2 2 inch sticks of cinnamon. How many 2 inch sticks are required for a biryani that serves 64? Once you're done calculating, check for answers in the next page. No cheating, okay? Answers 1. 6 onions 2. 
9 florets 3 6 cups 4 40 people 5 16 sticks 